Good morning. Welcome to Going Cardboard Thailand. It's a beautiful day. I have a little coffee. Talk to my friends. What happened carnivore last night? Nothing exciting. In fact, carnivore is becoming less and less exciting. The only thing exciting about carnivore is when I put my clothes on, they feel a lot looser than they did when I started. Because part of going carnivore is changing from eating being something amazing and entertaining to eating. I mean, it was always eating is what can I do to magnify this experience today? I mean, what should I do for dinner tonight? Should I do that fantastic pizza and add the extra mozzarella and extra pepperoni on top of the mozzarella and then bake it up in the oven and come out with this pizza that's just like this ocean of cheese with little floating lily pads of pepperoni on it it makes my mouth water now just thinking about it to, uh, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. I haven't eaten, and I know after 8 o'clock I'm probably not going to eat, so I guess I should eat dinner. Okay, what protein do I eat? Is there a steak already cooked that I can sear up? Or should I throw... A chicken breast in the air fryer, wrapped in bacon, or maybe have eggs for dinner. Or maybe you haven't had your salmon for a while, so you throw salmon in there. Or you throw in uh, maybe like I'm going to do for lunch today. Maybe we just have chicken tenders. Chicken tenderloins, long chicken tenderloins that you take the the tendon out of and, and you bake in the oven and put some of that Cajun spice on top, uh, which is really salt and pepper and oregano and that sort of thing. All Tony Catrari's New New Orleans Cajun seasoning that I've shown you before is amazing. Do you have that for uh, for dinner or lunch? It becomes, you must eat because your body needs fuel. And if you starve your body, you're not going to lose any weight. So if you're hungry, I don't care if it's in the fasting period, I'm going to eat if my stomach tells me I'm hungry. My stomach's growling, I'm hungry. Uh, that's no good to be hungry. Your body should never get the idea that hunting's been bad today. Because 100,000 years ago when we ate, it's because we found something to eat. We didn't go to our refrigerator to find it. We had to go out like real men and kill something. And, you know, I don't know. I guess what I'm saying is becoming carnivore is about the discipline of getting rid of 60 plus years of eating poorly and eating this stuff that ingratiates the senses. And the stuff that tastes so good because it's loaded with sugar and loaded with carbohydrates. And you feel so full after you ate it. And two hours later, you feel like you're hungry again because it's so carb laden. Or two hours later, you're waking up from the nap because like after a Thanksgiving meal, 
you're so tired you want to go to sleep. Well, I don't have that problem on carnivore the way I had it eating the sad standard American diet or even the sad Thailand diet. I mean, you can have uh, pod kerpow, which is a rice and egg and a few extra little things in there. But after you eat it, all that rice and carbs, it either puts you asleep or it makes you hungry in two hours, one or the other. So I guess what I'm saying is, in doing this channel, the best thing I can tell you, as far as my experiences is, it's harder than hell to keep talking to yourself. And I'm talking with you. Luckily, I got all this feedback coming. I'm this close to having 400 subscribers. This close. I think I looked at it was 397. Somebody subscribe, please. Uh, anyway. The hardest thing is convincing yourself that eating is should be no more exciting than putting gasoline in your car. The tank shows empty, pull in, you get some gas, and you put it in. I mean, it should be no more exciting than that. However... That's all, folks.